Hello everybody, this is Fatma from Addictive Tips. File Explorer on Windows 10 is a bit different than how it was on Windows 7. One major difference that you might notice is that there used to be a properties bar at the bottom of File Explorer. It gave you brief details of whichever file you had selected. Since the properties bar has been removed, you can't uh, select a file in File Explorer on Windows 10 and get quick information about it. If you need quick information for a file, for example, you need to find out the dimensions of an image, there are two things you can do. The first works on your desktop as well as inside File Explorer. All you need to do is hover your mouse cursor over an image and wait for the tooltip to appear. The tooltip contains three basic bits of information. The type of file it is, its size on disk, and of course its dimensions. This works most of the time, but the problem with this is that sometimes the tooltip doesn't show up. To fix that, you're going to have to select a different file and then select the file that you want to find the dimensions for. The tooltip can also take a little time to show up, so again, this isn't the most convenient or the fastest way to get the information you need. The alternative is a much more reliable one. What you can do is first open a folder in File Explorer that has images in it. What you need to do first is make sure that the view is set to details. To do that, go to the view tab on the ribbon and in the layout toolbox, you want to select details. After you select details, you want to right click the title of any one of the columns that you see in File Explorer. From the context menu, enable the dimensions column. It will tell you at a glance the size of the image. You will have to repeat this for every single folder that has images in it. So this method is obviously more reliable and uh, it does come with a shortcoming that you don't get your image thumbnails which are pretty useful when you have to go through a large library of images. So that's the quickest way to do it. I'll see you again later with more tips and tricks for Windows 10.